is a private video shot through somebody's personal very expensive telescope and we're gonna try to totally amaze you we're not gonna tell you exactly the date this was filmed but I can tell you it's a in the northern hemisphere and the focus of this telescope was to bright spots that were just cresting the limb and and you can see already right in the middle of this large crater that doesn't look like anything that should be on the moon doesn't even look like it belongs there but the shadows are consistent between the two craters as well as the really high reflective edge of the crater and so it looks like the Sun is off to the right uh, slightly towards the top of the screen and but mostly the Sun is just off to the right of your viewing angle and and I want you to pay attention to these craters and I want you to pay attention to the reflective boundaries because we're gonna get into some even more suspicious shapes and we're gonna see shadows that do not conform to the shadows you see here now the shadows are moderately long this crater rim is not exactly towering it does leave a significant shadow that covers at least a third of the crater so this the Sun is sitting somewhat low uh, with respect to the surface of the moon but again we start to see a repetitive theme with looks like spherical buildings with uh, connecting type uh, tubes or structural components in between and yes these can be natural it could just be artifact of light and reflection but when you look close you're gonna see that some of these are elevated structures they're arches now arches can happen again they can happen naturally but nobody to this day has ever reported seeing an arch on the moon so but some of these arches if you look some of these structures are elevated you can see the shadow you can see through the structure itself um, and you can see that they are elevated <coughs> look at the shadow on the right that big triangle s s shadow when you review um, this film you'll see there is, doesn't seem to be anything that could be causing that shadow uh, that's a very significant shadow and here we are again we see what looks like shadows but wait a minute something's different okay there's no gray areas there's like a bluish navy blue hint to this dark shadow it seems to be really well defined on all the images but yet there's not a structure that can account for the shape of this shadow you, you don't see any tall mountains there do you and directly over and on the boundaries of these different looking shadows you'll see even more suspicious structural components that look artificial compare the crater again up top that shadow has a transition gray area it's doesn't have some well-defined edges but yet all the shadows in the foreground closer to you are very well defined very very large shadows very well defined shapes and yet you cannot find any mountains to account for these shadows that you see and indeed looking down it looks like you're looking at a lake it looks like you're looking at a dam it looks like you're looking at hydroelectric uh, some smaller parts look like a sewage treatment plant some parts even look like a nuclear power plant with the spherical domed structures so I'm going to run this video through again and it addresses the origins of life in the solar system has life been seeded out seeded throughout are there life forms that breathe anything else other than oxygen well on earth there is half of all microorganisms don't breathe oxygen almost every single plant on the planet doesn't breathe oxygen there is a ton of life that doesn't breathe oxygen so the atmospheres of other planets and what's there is kind of a moot point when discussing the possibility of life throughout the solar system now we've tried to show some structures on the moon there's some, some really interesting moon anomaly videos out there uh, some really interesting stuff to kind of pass away a couple hours but the bottom line is is when you see shadows they have to conform 
to the topography that's creating the shadows. So where there's a peak, you should see a longer peak if the sun's a little low. Okay, we give you all that. However, the shadows in these craters that you see before you do not. They do not match the patterns associated with the shadows of the suspicious looking lake structures. So um, take a look at this, post your comments. Uh, we just say this is all suspicious and um, we say it's very interesting. Uh, we are not making any firm claims as to what is on the moon, but I'm venturing a guess. There's a hell of a lot more out there than anybody's ever led us on to knowing about. So we're going to run this through again and again look at the shadows they're just not matching up some of those structures are raised you can see underneath them um, and look at these darker shadows that have more of a bluish hint to them a navy blue hint um, I don't know what it is but it's really something to really scrutinize how in the heck do you get these huge shadows when there's no huge mountains nearby and the components look lake-like, I mean very lake-like and from these quote-unquote things that look like lakes we see canals, we see beaches and we see drier softer like sand beds like they could be overflows that are now dry. Now I know this all sounds crazy but then again so does little green men coming out of the mouth of the highest military mind in the United States. So it is very obvious that there's a lot of artificiality and towers and networking of very artificial looking stuff right here on this video of the moon. And if you did not know this was the moon, you would think it was on Earth. This is a private video shot through somebody's personal, very expensive telescope. And we're going to try to totally amaze you. We're not going to tell you exactly the date this was filmed, but I can tell you it's a, in the Northern Hemisphere and the focus of this telescope was to bright spots that were just cresting the limb and and you can see already right in the middle of this large crater that doesn't look like anything that should be on the moon doesn't even look like it belongs there but the shadows are consistent between the two craters as well as the really high reflective edge of the crater and so it looks like the sun is off to the right